My name is Eckhard Freud. I'm the music director of the Cincinnati Chamber Orchestra and I'm here at the Rankin House in Ripley, Ohio. And Ripley was one uh, starting point of a very important uh, underground railroad network. And I'm here with uh, award-winning author Anne Hegedorn who wrote the book Beyond the River which is all about the Underground Railroad here in Ripley, Ohio. Um, how did the Underground Railroad work? Ah, there's a simple answer to that, and that's uh, creativity, flexibility, courage, uh, astute planning, uh, the, the moral brilliance, you know, but, uh, but a more complicated answer is basically, a more detailed answer, is the fact that these people were very smart. The members of the network owned property on both sides of the alleys that ran perpendicular from the river up to the base of the hill that we're sitting on right now that Rankin's house was on. Um, and they owned the property from uh, the back door of Rankin's house right here uh, the property from there to the next uh, major station, which would have been uh, the town of Red Oak. Talk about the story that John Rankin told to Harriet Beecher Stowe, who used it later to model the character of Eliza in Uncle Tom's Cabin. Now, that's a very exciting detail about the town of Ripley. Uh, Ripley was part of a network that uh, connected with Cincinnati and especially the Lane Seminary, which was run by Lyman Beecher, Harriet Beecher Stowe's father. John Rankin had uh, at least uh, one son who was a student at Lane Seminary. Um, Harry Beecher Stowe and John Rankin uh, became uh, acquainted in 1839. He told Harry Beecher Stowe uh, about a story about a woman who had crossed the river in the winter of 1838 and had crossed on ice flows and carried her baby with her. Like I said, in 1839, uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe obviously never forgot the details of that story. Her book came out in 1852, I believe. So um, it, the woman's name was not Eliza. Harriet Beecher Stowe gave her that name, but the story of the woman crossing the ice came from John Rankin. The woman ended up up in this house, and Jean Rankin made clothes for her, and uh, there are many more details, but that's... Uh, that's the timing of it and the exchange of the information that laid the groundwork for that part of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Exciting. It is believed that Harriet Tubman, who made 13 trips to the South and helped free more than 70 people, used this song to warn slaves to get off the trail and into the water to prevent dogs used by slavers from finding them. In 2002, Maryland Public Television produced Pathways to Freedom, Maryland and the Underground Railroad as a teaching guide, which included a section on how songs that many slaves already knew had secret meanings. They could be used to signal many things. Certain songs were believed to have contained explicit instructions to fugitive slaves on how to avoid capture and the route to take to successfully make their way to freedom.
Jesus passing upon 